All right, guys, this is uh, what it looks like. Microscopically, we're looking at steel that I used a grinder on. And I, and I mean just a few quick, as as everyone likes using the term, a few for quick licks. When I say that, I, I went back. and it was, I actually got the result within like two and a half passes. But you know the way it is. You're already committed. So you're like, you know what? I probably gave it five extra passes just, just to be a jerk. Um, it did nothing. Um, but... It had the same sheen as you're looking at now at two and a half passes. This is microscopically. This is so. This will be the uh, the rotation of the blade, and me. You see where they interlock, where they cross each other. Rotation of the grinder. Now I'm going to show you microscopically what it looks like with just a sealer on it. Now this is a more profile look. Um, that's a uh, sealer. That's a uh, rust inhibitor over top of it. Uh, rust inhibitor being of an old Rust-Oleum brand. This is a weak phosphoric uh, correction. Hold on. This is a weak dusting of white paint. Um, literally weak uh, dollar store brush uh, uh, light dusting of uh, white paint. You know, it's actually heavy for them. It's just cheap brand. This is that same product line in black. I'm going to now... Show you, let me show you the edge now. Let's get rid of just disregard the uh, that's just different data. Now we're back to new data. This is at the transition between rust where I grind it and where you see the black um, that's going to be a black primer rust oleum product. Uh, so black primer rust with a grinder hit um, with a grinder uh, swipe pass. As you can see, uh there's still some, if, if you were to leave this, you've got a base material. There's, you got oxidation ready to go. Um, we're going to see how fast this oxidizes over here to the to this section. But I wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to flip the steel over. It's a half inch thick uh, piece of steel that's been around for, so this material you probably can't even buy anymore. It's, uh, it's probably uh, the 40, 50 years old in quality, so you can't buy that anymore. Now we're looking at phosphoric acid at 75% phosphor phosphoric acid. So this creates what a uh, uh, iron phosphate with the conversion. Um, if I got that right, iron three. Um, so this, without treating it, without treating it, is claimed to be one year. Now if you look to I'm trying to find it, hold on. So you see the right where the where the stain is. So this is where I just let it sit there. I didn't rub it in or anything right here. And it's the transition over to the other metal that I had. Um, I'm looking at my sample here. That it just bleed, bled over. I'm sorry. I did. I let it sit for about three hours. And then I just brushed it around the whole section down here. So this got washed over to here. And you see it tapering off um, over to this point. You see how when it's weak like that, you can still you're still missing it. But where it's not weak, where I just let it sit, and you wouldn't have the luxury of letting it sit. That's where I start brushing. Obviously, it's uh, microscopically got some uh, material in it. Let's see if I can. That's grossing me out. Sorry, guys. Nothing but a fine piece of nothing. And yeah, there it is. Hold on. So phosphoric. Let me find a nice little area. Let's call that area there. That's your phosphoric acid. 75%. You can see where it might not have penetrated as best as it could, as you know, as, uh, it might need another coat. You see right there. And here, you've got the makings for uh, failure. Now, here it looks great. But this is phosphoric acid. Out here, it looks great. You're stuck with the profile of the uh, pitted concrete. Uh, yeah, the pitted concrete. You're stuck with the pitted uh, steel. Whereas on the other hand, if you just take a grinder to it, you're done. You're, you're, you're done, you put a primer on it, and you keep moving. And you use the phosphoric acid possibly for places you can't reach mechanically into uh, inside corners and things like that. But you see, that's a nice pattern. Let me do this. Let me change the power of the scope and get you a, uh, a little more out. So now we're out here at uh, we're out at the back of the scope here. 
when we slide over, let the light adjust. Okay. So you see, there's your rust bleeding from the from the from the uh, grinder into the rusted material into the primer material. This is what I will observe with this sample now. I'm just going to watch it. I'm not going to do any acceleration, salt, or anything else on it. I'll just observe it, let it let it ride, and share my data on either on the comments below or possibly another few, uh, video in the future. I am going to put the steel exposed to the elements. How many people have steel inside that they're worried about um, uh, rusting? So it's going outside. I'll put it on a, uh, my covered porch. Um, it still be exposed to the elements. Just covered. It's not enclosed. Okay. Just want to share this with you. Again, grinder. Just take a grinder to it. You're done. You don't need to do all that fancy stuff. Um, and remember, uh, hydrochloric acid. And bleach, and you've got a hydrogen mustard gas. One of them is uh, hydro, yeah, mustard gas. So be careful, don't kill yourself with that hydrochloric acid. This is a phosphate, phosphoric acid. Yeah, cool. Okay, my man, Ray's here. Okay, I'm terminating video.